I'm Vladislav Sandler, a co-founder and CEO of Hemogenics Pharmaceuticals. Today I'm going to talk about uh, our newly signed agreement with the global biopharmaceutical company, we call it Global Core, that is centered on the development of new treatments for autoimmune diseases. First, a little bit of the history. Uh, about two and a half years ago, we have developed our first generation of advanced hematopoietic chimeric mice. These are mice uh, that are engrafted with human uh, uh, blood cells and recreate human immune system. Uh, we developed these mice for our own internal purposes, trying to test um, uh, our bispecific antibodies that we that we would develop in to treat acute myeloid leukemia and condition bone marrow transplants. So that attempt was uh, a success, but we decided to look um, if these mice would be of interest to other players in the field. So we showed these mice to a number of biopharmaceutical companies, and one of them, um, uh, Johnson Pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, a Johnson & Johnson company, uh, decided that they, they would like to try to build a, a model of human lupus uh, based on our advanced hematopoietic chimeric mice. So we signed a collaboration with Johnson & Johnson and started working towards building um, uh, a lupus model. While collaborating with, uh, with Johnson & Johnson, we realized that um, autoimmune diseases as a group of diseases are pretty much uh, diseases of human blood. Hemogenics Pharmaceuticals has been founded to develop new treatments for serious blood diseases such as acute myeloid leukemia and to develop new ways to condition bone marrow transplants. As such, we were already in the field of blood diseases and we decided to look more closely at, um, at the area of autoimmune diseases. We began our work uh, approximately last summer and gradually um, we realized that we indeed could contribute seriously in the development of the new treatments uh, of autoimmune diseases and our first target was lupus. We were able to find uh, several unique targets um, on the surface of uh, a subset of, of immune cells that could be potentially targeted uh, by, uh, by a drug. So this drug could be uh, an antibody, a uh, peptide, a small molecule. We have evidence uh, of existence of a, of a unique subpopulation of immune cells that exist only in, the, in people who are suffering from lupus. So when we look at these cells, uh, we are able to identify several proteins on the surface of these cells that could be targeted by, uh, by a drug. So we call them druggable, druggable targets. Target discovery is an important first step in the drug development. The next step uh, that comes after that uh, is typically target validation. So to validate a target, one needs to have an instrument, one needs to have a tool that can be used to validate the target. In our case, because our targets are on the surface of the cell, um, we would need either a small molecule or a protein by logic, for example, an antibody or peptide that could um, bind to this target and modulate its activity. So one needs to create a tool to modulate the activity of these preliminary targets. So how do we go about it? So we were fortunate uh, to have already been working with a global biopharmaceutical company, again we call it Global Co, uh, on the development of our bispecific antibodies for the treatment of acute myeloid leukemia and conditioning of bone marrow transplants, CDX. So we approached our partner, this Global Co, 
and uh, showed them what we have discovered. Global Co became interested in uh, at least two of the targets that we discovered and decided to sign a new collaboration with Hemogenics Pharmaceuticals that would center on the development of the tools um, to validate these targets and if the validation is successful then to turn these tools into uh, real drugs. We were happy that Global Code decided to uh, collaborate with us uh, because it provided an additional validation uh, to the targets uh, that we um, discovered. And second, because uh, Global Co has uh, enormous resources for not only discovering uh, new molecules that can, uh, that can bind to a certain protein and modulate its properties, but also has a tremendous experience in converting these initially discovered molecules into drugs. Also had experience working with Global Co uh, developing our CDX antibody, and we know that they are uh, extremely capable. And um, uh, and basically, the culture uh, of Hemogenics Pharmaceuticals fit into the culture of Global Co, and we are very productive when we collaborate and when we work together. According to the sign agreement, Global Co will discover new molecules, give these molecules to us to validate newly discovered targets. When and if uh, this validation is successful, we'll pass uh, these molecules, the chosen molecules, back to Global Co uh, for them to convert these uh, chosen candidates into drugs. After the collaboration is over, uh, Global Co will have an option to e-license uh, these newly discovered and validated um, molecules uh, for the further drug development. Uh, if Global Co decides for whatever reason that they don't want to e-license these molecules, we will have, a, uh, we will have uh, the right to, to e-license these molecules back to Hemogenics Pharmaceuticals. So overall, the arrangement is the same arrangement as we had um, for the agreement for the development uh, of our CDX antibodies. Thank you for your attention and I hope to talk to you soon again.